<laughs> Lost my beard. Okay, the following show is not to make light of dangerous hurricanes, uh, but it's to illustrate how some media might cover such events. Okay, this is Springfield News at 6, KRIP TV 13 at Hangman Alley Hill, live at 6 o'clock. And we're going to start right out with our main meteorologist, and we're going to switch right now for our meteorology report. Hello, good afternoon. It's, uh, it's raining very heavily here um, inside the studio. Uh, we do have a leak in the roof, and as it continues to rain here, uh, it will rain uh, because of the leak that is in the do, roof. Do we have any data at all on actually exactly how much rain has fallen? Yes, yes, we do have the doubt on that. Yes. Are you are you will are you willing to share that with us? No, I, I do not have the data. Okay. But we'll, I, I'm we'll, being told we'll we do have the data. We'll get we that do. later in the broadcast. No problem. Okay. We'll have that for you at eleven. A absolutely. Or at eleven. That's correct. And oh, okay. uh, Glenn, do you have a report? Yes, I do. I've been uh, monitoring this uh, particular storm and if anybody has read the book that I just published, um, Weathering the Storm and How You Can Weather It, I talk about the disasters that we've experienced this year and, and how you can deal with them. And I'm reminded of the blast in uh, the sleep blast in 1856. Okay, this sounds uh, actually, very interesting, Glenn, but we're going to have to cut to a commercial right now. And uh, Kevin, can you give us the first uh, commercial of the evening? Well, this... Uh, this broadcast is brought to you by uh, Solar Power Incorporated. Unfortunately, oh, I'm sorry, Kevin. You probably didn't get the memo. They did not pay their bill this month. Um, can you go to the next one on the list? Uh, yes. Geothermal Industries is okay. also helping to underwrite the show. Okay. And uh, they will uh, certainly help with uh, holding down your heating bills and uh, getting you positioned for the new kind of energy. And uh, I'd like, just like to say that... Uh, oh, we, excuse me, we have breaking news. Um, Brad, oh, I understand. Uh, Brad, do you, you have some, some information there? You have some breaking news? Yes, I do indeed. This is the new iPhone 7 in my hand uh, off well, the press. Excuse me, but we're doing hurricane coverage right, right now. Um, Check it out. It's uh, got a built-in printer and does scanner. That have and a stuff. Does that have a hurricane detection device? It does indeed. Oh, okay. It also, also has a wind, uh, a weather app as well, which is pretty cool. Oh, and and does it detect wind speeds? Yes, it does. And that's the new iPhone Seven. Yes, it is. Well, we're gonna. I'm I'm sure you're gonna do a full segment on that later in the broadcast. So everybody, stay Don't tuned. Be. This is this is a exclusive first look at the iPhone Seven. So um, let's do this. Let's go to our Oracle our resident oracle and see if we can get any kind of uh, light shed on the entire situation here. Oh my god guys, hi! You are all so groovy. Oh, I thought that I would consult my oracle and just like roll it. Let's see. Oh, the number six. Oh, I, this just forebodes immensely bad things for the United States. You have no idea. So many storms will be happening. You guys got to get some groovy vibes up in here. Now, speaking mm -hmm. of storms, we're going to cut to our, our main meteorologist, Peter, and we're going to get back to the details on the current storm that's hammering the entire East Coast. But before we do that, let's talk about the next storm that is, is queued up. I understand it's about 580 miles southeast of Cuba, and is it's it's not quite a tropical depression yet right no no you're correct uh it is not quite a tropical depression yet uh it is uh it's still happy can it you, is not quite can depressed you speculate yet speculate as to what it might become uh, it may it may get depressed it may turn to drinking and with drinking comes rage and with rage comes the big storms I thought it as we a, can see I like, it like with irene I, i'm sorry i'm having trouble with the satellite connection okay uh let's see if we Let's see if we can get Tom to speculate on that. Tom, could you speculate on what that next storm might become? Oh, we don't have a mic uh, on. Uh, Tom, um, we, we might got, become a. Uh, we got a. Go, go ahead, Tom. 
Um, we um, speculate that it may turn into a hurricane or maybe even a toaster oven. We're not sure. For some reason, his mouth is not in sync with his sound. But, okay, that's okay. That works. Um, let's see if we can switch to Glenn. He's our, our backup meteorologist. And let's see if Glenn can speculate a little bit on this next storm. Well, I don't know much about tropical depression, but I do know that depression is um, something that affects us all. And in my new book I've written, Whether You Can Weather Depressions, uh, I talk about... Um, Glenn, we'll get back to that a little bit later on, but let me now switch one more time back to Peter. And it looks like he's consulted with some experts, and he has a little bit more of a report on what this next storm might become. Uh, that's correct. I just got off Twitter with uh, with Tim Canadori, and uh, he is the weather expert from News 57 on the VHF feed out in Sacramento. Okay. He speculates that the storm, which is 500 miles southwest of Cuba, will develop into a lot of rain for South America. Whether or not that will venture up into the continental United States, we have yet to see. Although the rainforest, it does continue to rain there. We'll have more on Tropical Storm Irene. Now, and, uh, now I saw a report... Is, Go, go across my desk earlier that that storm might actually go through the Darien Gap and and <laughs> to a horseshoe and hit right. California. Is that possible? That, that is has possible. Has that ever happened? Uh, no, no, it has not happened, and it would have to take on cyclonic activity at that point, in which case it would reverse its direction from north to south, east, westward, into a westwardly eastern flow over the jet streams nebula which actually goes underneath and back around in the San Diego area. Now if this were to cross back underneath and come down from on top, well, we'll something the would come from the, the side pushing the warm air the, into the, the cold air. That hour. moisture would pick up and then fall yeah, down. We'll, That's we'll correct. We'll get the details on that at the 11 o'clock hour. Kevin, can you give us a summary as to how this might affect the electrical grid? You're an energy expert and how this might affect the electrical grid if something like this were to happen. And it's sounding like it's very likely that this could happen. Well, we'd like to do things off the grid uh, uh, with the new energy field. And uh, it reminds me of uh, an old saying that, uh, you know, with the weather, everybody complains about the weather, but nobody ever does anything about it. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and so how could a storm like this affect the existing grid? I know you're, you're interested in getting off the grid completely, but the existing grid, how could a, a – they're saying that this storm could actually get generate a new category. Cat 5 is the highest category we have right now for a hurricane. They're saying this well, could I'm possibly sure be old, a Cat old, 7 storm. Uh, yes, I'm hearing from uh, some of the media companies out there doing the reporting that they're, they're – they're, they're going to upgrade to a meet, uh, Category 8 because they've figured out that at Category 8, they can make 20% more in their advertising fees. Oh, okay. Well, we weren't supposed to talk about that on air, Kevin. That's, that's an oh, internal sorry. thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, okay, so okay. I'm going to switch sorry. right away to Tom. And, Tom, we've got to take another commercial break. What do you have for a commercial for us? Well, he was talking about depressed systems, and if you're depressed and uh, – really want to get a booster there, we uh, have a new drug for you called Damodol. Um, you take two pills a day and you really don't care about anything. How much does that cost? Um, about uh, buck three fifty. And is there a phone number that people can call? Uh, yes, it's 1-800-DAMIDOL. Uh, okay, there we go. Damodol, a new sponsor to the program. I love to see a new sponsor. We really need them. We're desperate for money. Okay, um, let's go back to the Oracle and ch You've been hearing what they've been talking about with this possible new storm. And, and I have been. Oh, my God. I want to tell you all about the storm that is coming. And it is a storm of music. I cannot even tell you. Grateful Dead, Janis Joplin, Dylan, you got to get your records. You got to put them on. And you just got to vibe out to the groovy beat. I mean, I don't know if you were there, Woodstock, 1969, but I was. I drove my VW bus. We had some brownies. Oh, man. So what you're saying is we should just kind of relax and, and not let the storm bother us? Is that what exactly. you're saying? Exactly. If you're groovy, it's just going to groove with you, man. Okay. Well, thanks for that report. Thanks for that report, Monica. And uh, oh, let's, let's cut back real quick to, 
quick to Glenn, and then we're going to have to take a break here shortly. But go ahead, Glenn. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. We are right up against the clock. I, I missed the time. I have a new one. book. I, I'm sorry, Glenn, but we're going to have to cut the. To yeah, no, fire. we're going to have to cut the Brad. Brad, Brad, we got a, another commercial. Can you run the uh, iPhone commercial now? Sure thing, uh, mate. This is the new iPhone uh, 7 here. Uh, it's in stores right now for a one dollar, and uh, yeah, go check it out. I have, you I have can a book buy on the it for one dollar. iPhone five. Yeah, one dollar. Go get it. Is that so the cheap. iPhone six or the iPhone seven? This is the iPhone seven. The, the seven. Now, is that the one that will actually charge my automobile as well? That is correct. Okay. And I'm it's gonna... also got a a, light, a lighter charger in it too. You can light okay. cigarettes as well with. It. And Glenn, did you have a question for Brad about the the iPhone? I just like to say all the books that I'm publishing right now are available on iPhone and iPad. So, uh, and actually, I have a book about the iPad and the iPhone. Um, it's a trilogy. And um, now, did you have a? By the way, your your mustache keeps falling off. Is there something going on with your mustache there? You know, it's funny you should say I'm um, having some facial problems, and I actually wrote another book about that. It's called um, Whether You Can Have a Beard or Not, and it goes into detail about, um, well, actually, let me read you an excerpt. Okay, well, we, <laughs> I'm sorry, Glenn, but we got some breaking news over here. Oh, I yes, had to, I had to chuckle because I saw our oracle in there. She's, she's really having a good time tonight. But I'm anyway, let's, out, let's, man. Let, let's switch to Tom real quick. We've got some more breaking news, and then we're going to have to cut the commercial. i got to warn you in advance, Tom. Only got a few minutes before the break. Go ahead. Not a problem. A uh, breaking news here today. I'm we sorry. Just figured... that'll, that'll do it for your time. And I'm going to cut right to Peter for a quick update on the storm the current storm this time and then uh, we'll go to our next break what what is happening with the current storm forget about the storm we've been speculating about what's going on with the current storm yes uh, it's a very good question it is a very good question the the power at our studio here in nashville has actually been knocked out uh, nowhere near the storm uh, so more than a thousand any, miles away at this point you don't and, uh, you don't have any information for us no, no, we have no power at this at point. Just enough power for the Can camera. Can you at least speculate? I speculate that it, it will that... continue to rain. Okay. Okay, yes. well, that's that's we'll better see. than nothing. I mean, we got to give our, our viewers something, for gosh sake. That's correct. It, uh, will, uh, it will rain, and then after it's done raining, uh, it will continue to rain, and it will continue to rain in parts where it has not rained before, where it has already rained. Eventually... It will stop raining, but those that have not yet seen the rain in the path of the rain should expect the rain. Those who've already experienced the rain, just don't worry. Very soon, there will be no more rain. Okay. Well, that sounds good. I'm 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 glad That's to. Deep, man. That's not sure deep. exactly what I just heard, but I'm glad to hear it. Okay, Brad, we're gonna cut back to you real quick here. Brad, What's we need up, another. What's up, mate? Good. What do you want to know about the new phone, mate? Ask away. Right. Ask question. Okay, and, uh, uh, now it's yep, totally so solar powered, right? It doesn't even have a battery in it whatsoever, no, correct? Solar no, you powered. Don't, you, don't need, you don't need to even charge it in a PowerPoint. It just okay. runs off solar power, which is good. And it'll also charge my laptop whenever it's hooked up to the laptop, and it can do that wirelessly, correct? That is correct. That is correct. Okay. I should go, you should go get one, mate. I recommend one to you. And it has a scanner built into it. It does indeed, mate. And it also has a printer as well and a, and a, and a light saber building lightsaber okay yeah. well that that sounds like a good device okay the book okay the no, book point the right, we, of Glenn, okay we got to run the book ad one more time here go ahead this time I'm, i promise i will not cut you off brad are you you ready to run your your ad oh i i'm sorry it was oh speaking of cutoffs um fashions today uh especially teenage I'm sorry. We're losing some audio. I, I think we're having some technical. It's the okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna cut to what? Monica real quick. Book. We're having some technical Self. difficulties with Brad. Monica, um, can you? You have to like feel the electricity flowing, and then it'll it'll sort out. That's a good segue because we're going to Kevin for another energy report. Okay, Kevin, energy is very important in fighting a storm like this. Can you give us an update on our energy status? Well, there's going to be plenty of energy to be had after this storm goes away, but I would just like to go on record of thanking uh, 
the stations that are a part of our network for the, the, the great concern that they've shown over the past several days of hurricane coverage. All right, we're cutting because to Glenn. They really care about people. We're cutting to Glenn. Glenn, what, what has happened to your head? Well, you know, it's funny you should ask. Actually, I wrote a book about uh, cats, and um, it's uh, it's not really the musical. It's about the, the feline experience, and as you can see, I am now a, a feline, and um, it's it's an interesting experience. I'd like to talk more about it. Um, I have a book here. Well, we'll uh, give you all the cemetery. I'm, sorry. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Oh, my gosh. No, no, oh, my I'm gosh. Really the, the oracle couldn't handle the cat. Well, hopefully she'll be back. But can you give well, us that? Can you give us that eight hundred number for people that want to order the cat book? Because cats are very popular nowadays. And and if you're you're going to teach them how to actually be a feline, um, just it, like you do. Yeah, you have to be your inner feline. You have to really ask yourself: Are you a pussy, or are you really you know? Are you are you fur and fangs? Are you going to get out there and and it's a dog eat dog world if you if you'll uh, pardon the expression and uh, you have to be a cat to get out there and really go out and go after the the mice. Do you have an eight hundred number that folks uh, call? Fell asleep. Oh, it looks like Peter has fallen asleep in the newsroom. Well, he's been working very hard around the clock. Our news team is is the best almost in this county. He's um, probably taking a cat nap. Oh yeah. no! I just I I gave him some of my my funny brownies. Oh, the funny brownies! Yeah. Oh, I see. We won't wake him right now. He'll be up here in a minute. All right. Well, Tom, let's go to another commercial break. We need to pay the bills around here. After all, this is not a you know some kind of a nonprofit organization or something. Although it feels like it is sometimes. Do you have another commercial that's actually a paid commercial this time? Yeah, this part is going to be brought to you by the website uh, Roundspace. Where you can make your own websites up. It's uh, your website at roundspace.com. And within five minutes, you can set up your own website. Yeah, you know, I, I actually used that to build a website. And it's interesting because you can do it by voice. And yeah, it's, what it's is all going automatic. On with it's really Glenn? nice. What is going on with Glenn now? What's happened to you now? He's um, a shark. Well, I hate to tell you, but I also know why there's a shark. Um, it's. It's kind of a part-time job. I'm kind of exploring the uh, the venues. Like you see, I've got lunch waiting uh, for me behind me. Um, so I'll just make this brief. I have another book, How to Be a Shark and uh, What Jaws Really Means When You are uh, when you Have Fins. Um, okay, I can it also looks like we're going to have to cut to Peter. He's back, uh, back with us again here. That's Peter, okay. it's do lunchtime. you have some more speculation? I mean, some more reporting for us? Yes, uh, we anticipate that in a, in addition to the rain, uh, that there will be some minor flash flooding. Flash flooding occurs when it rains uh, very quickly, and that rain accumulates, and it runs into low-lying areas and then creates a flash flood. Right now, about 4,327 4, counties are under a flash flood watch. We expect to hit 8,000 counties just in the state of Rhode Island by, uh, by midnight tonight. In, okay. a, in a full flash flood warning, again, 8,000 counties in the state of Rhode Island will, will be in that any, warning path. Is there any truth to the possibility that this storm might go back out to sea and re-strengthen into a full-fledged hurricane? Yeah, actually, uh, what uh, Tim Cannonori and I were speculating is that this is going to, uh, to go ahead and make a clockwise approach back down uh, towards the Gulf of Mexico. It will then up come come up the coast of Florida, uh, around Miami. Right when it hits the port of Savannah, at that point we expect it to take a westerly approach, actually heading right towards the Nashville area. Um, you know, Nashville experienced a great flood uh, not very long ago, but but we do speculate that the hurricane once again will take the clockwise approach down to the Gulf of Mexico, up to Miami, and then gut straight left, uh, going westerly uh, towards Los Angeles. That that could be devastating. All right, let's switch real quick to Tom. Tom, can you add anything to that speculation? Um, on the new storm, uh, we're going to do the same coverage we did here in Fort Lauderdale for Irene. We'll be in Cabo to cover that one when it hits the Miami coast. And it'll be 24-7, 365 coverage? 
Um, as long as I'm not alcohol and uh, up, yeah, yes, well, it will be. Okay, well, that sounds like some wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Everybody stay tuned to this station. Do not go anywhere, and we will keep you up to date. And it looks like we've lost Kevin Dolan. He's lost power there. He's got the lights are out, and he's our energy consultant, so that cannot be a good sign. So I'm going to switch over to Brad. And what are you doing now with this iPhone 7? Oh, I'm just having a look at it, mate. It looks pretty good. I should I should give away one on the show, on the news story, maybe. That looks very bright. That screen looks looks very good. So you're it's thinking about actually thing. giving one away? Sure, why not? An iPhone 7. Okay, if you're sure, caller number 10 to 888-626-PHONE, um, yeah. you could Wait, have what, a chance. What was that number again? Uh, I think, think it's... Been an iPhone 7. Yeah, it's 888-586-PHONE. And uh, that'll work, and just call that number right now, and, and you could actually win one. So we're going to take one more break here. Glenn, you have a commercial for us? Uh, no, but I would like to tell you that I'm in the Triassic period now, and uh, weather's fine. I see, I see. I see no, no rain, but it looks like there's a volcano in the background are you trying to portend that we might have a volcano associated with the next storm i really wouldn't pay attention it's been it's been fuming like that all day it's just you know yatter 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 we're, we're kind of ignoring it right now and uh, everybody's like into the world in the world but you know who are you going to believe really well i'll uh, tell you who we're going to believe monica what do you have to say about that the end of the world oh well i think we should all just time travel in our minds back to a safer place. Maybe we should all go back to the age of the dinosaurs because it was like so much more real, man. I fun. will light a candle and I will, I will just send out vibes in the hopes that we can all reach that state of higher consciousness. Okay, well what we're going to do now is we're going to give each one of you one more opportunity here to to cap any stories that you've been talking about and uh, give us a real quick summary, Tom, uh, that our viewers can take to the 11 o'clock hour. Well, I've got a, just a breaking headline. It just came in here. Uh, probably no one's heard about this yet, but Steve Jobs has left Apple. Oh, my goodness. What? Was that related to the storm? Um, it had something to do with the rain. He didn't want to get wet or something. I forgot. Okay. You know, okay. Anyway. okay. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye on that. That's a big story, especially with the iPhone 7 coming out. And Peter, do you have anything to add to uh, tonight's stories? Uh, anything that they can look forward to at 11? Uh, yes, they can look forward to more power outages, more rains, more uh, tremendous downpours. Uh, we're just getting in from the National Weather Service in um, Arizona that they are actually expecting a uh, two millimeters of rain tonight. This will be the uh, biggest downpour in the in the Phoenix area in the last seven years, actually, in a 24-hour period. So this storm is this this already 350-year storm is is possibly going to affect as far west as Arizona. No, no, no. Uh, I'm sorry. It's it's not not related at all. It's uh, just very humid there, and it might rain. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yes. All right, yeah. Monica. Do you have one last word? I, I want to tell everyone, fight the man, because the man will slap you down. So you got to fight him back. Okay, and our, Eat the man. our energy Eat the man. consultant is totally dark. He's he's lost power. So I'm going to go to Glenn. Glenn, do you have any any further statements? No, I'm good. Uh, if this happens, we'll, um, I'll, you can probably see me in future episodes as oil. So um, I'll keep you posted. Okay, and I'm going to switch over to Brad. Brad, do you have a – can you – Give us a little summary of, of where we are and what we can look for, forward to at 11 o'clock. Uh, just a giveaway for the iPhone 7. That is all for now. Uh, iPhone 7. Okay. All right. So this has been Springfield News at 6, KRIP TV 13 at Hangman Alley Hill. And that is a wrap for this broadcast. Okay, let's do a little round robin here and everybody introduce yourself and anything you'd like to say to our viewers, starting with Tom. Um, Tom, I run an amateur radio podcast and you can find it at hqaradio.com. So that's hqaradio.com. That's correct. All right. And Peter. 
Hi, I'm Peter McDermott from Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm the guru of the MicroPatrol.com video webcast. Can you spell that slowly, that URL? It's M-I-C-R-O-P-A-T-R-O-L.com. MicroPatrol, right. to serve and connect. Okay, and Monica. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm not really stoned all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all the time, um, really. I just, no, I'm not stoned at all. Um, I do live in a hippie town, though. Um, you can find me as M Monica on Google+, Plus, uh, where I post lots of cool links and fun stuff to look at. Okay, that sounds good to me. And Kevin's still in the dark. And Glenn. Hey, you can find me on Twitter, GlennRogers42. You can find me here on Google+, Plus is just Glenn Rogers, And I have a blog called Game View Fake Gaming News print to fit and just look it up on Google or one of those search engines and you're bound to find it. Okay, and I am Craig Ship. You can find me at craigship.com and links to all of my various social media sites and all that good stuff. And Brad. Uh, you can find me right here on uh, techwebcast.info, Australia's number one Australian leading podcast, technology podcast. So that's tech webcast.info that's the one and right. uh, we have some great guests on there as well and uh, great stuff is People that available on itunes it is, yes, it is, yes it is it is indeed it is yep it okay is. we will do it on our iphone 7 thanks everybody and this is a wrap